And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hi, I'm Peter Chan, National Weather Service Program Lead of the Alaska Weather Show, and I have a very important change notice to share with you. If you haven't already heard the last TV broadcast of Alaska weather, at least in the traditional sense, over the airwaves will be on Friday, June 30th. Starting on July 1st, the National Weather Service will provide a modified web-based version of the program on a new YouTube channel. We will be moving on YouTube from the Alaska Public Media site to at NWS Alaska, so you can go ahead and subscribe uh, to this channel ahead of time. A public comment period remains open through July 30th, so please send your comments and concerns to nws.service dash change comments at noaa.gov. If you have any additional questions, you may reach carrie.hazley at noaa.gov and donald.moore at noaa.gov. We thank you for your patience and understanding. Thank you for joining us today on the Alaska Weather TV Show. I'm meteorologist Emily Niebuhr. It's June 29th, 2023. You can reach us at 1-855-937-4977, online weather.gov slash Alaska, and email us at nws.ar.tvweather at noaa.gov. We'd love to hear from you, so please reach out. Let's take a look at our rainfall totals from yesterday. Anyone in South Central notice it was a fairly rainy day, but Anchorage actually broke a daily record of 0.51 inches of rainfall, uh, ending at uh, 10.30 last night. So again, uh, if you were thinking it was a rainy day yesterday, you were definitely correct. Across the Kenai, we had a lot of rainfall, and um, up north into the Matsu Valley as well. Uh, here, hot off the press, we have the fire weather update from the Alaska Interagency Coordination Center. Uh, so here's their latest update. So there's going to be warmer weather this weekend, which we are going to dive into in a bit, but that will uh, bring some drying. Those showers and thunderstorms will also dampen fuels as well. And remember, despite the rain, fine fuels will dry quickly, so still be vigilant with your fireworks this weekend and into next week. Uh, low to moderate fire activity is expected through July. Uh, and here's an update on the fires in Canada. Canada is having an unprecedented fire weather season. And uh, for information, search CWFIS to get official wildland, wildland fire data and forecasts. So again, if you're going to be traveling in Canada, you can get uh, the latest updates and safety information. Again, search CWFIS to get official wildland fire data and forecasts from Canada. Let's look at our hazard weather across the state. As you can tell, it's uh, another calm day across much of the area. Uh, we don't have any advisories, watches, or warnings. So uh, uh, that's great news today. Let's look at your fire danger. As we just discussed, across much of the region, uh, we're just looking at uh, low fire weather data and only a few portions of the state along the North Arctic coast are even experiencing high uh, risk um, in some of those grassy areas. So again, uh, a much different picture this year than last year in terms of uh, how uh, uh, fire dangerous those fuels are. Let's take a look at your latest satellite imagery. You can see we have multiple lows, uh, none of them particularly strong, but we have a low spinning south of Kodiak. We have one near uh, in the Bering, and we have several weak troughs across in the interior Alaska, which is supporting a lot of that widespread cloudiness and showers across much of the region. So again, here's today's weather map. As I was saying, multiple weak troughs in the interior, supporting nothing too organized, but enough to, to support week after especially afternoon shower activity then we have our a 1003 millibar low located in the bearing we also have a 1005 millibar low south of kodiak island we do have some high pressure trying to sneak into the western portion of the bearing near the kamchaka peninsula for tonight's weather again those lows aren't going to be moving that fast we have that weak low again is drifting near kodiak island we have that other low over the central Lucians slowly drifting to the south, but again, very weak. We do have widespread fog expected tonight across much of the North Arctic coast, and a little bit of those troughs still in the region, although they're going to be weakening overnight. 
Uh, as we go into Friday, uh, again, this low continues to drift southeast uh, towards the central Aleutian Islands. We do have a little bit of a local ridge building across the Gulf of Alaska, but uh, there's still it's uh, there's so much moisture around. We're still going to be seeing some showers along the coast. We do have a low um, just north of the Kamchatka Peninsula on the western part of the Bering Sea, and that weak trough is going to be supporting some showers um, into portions of the uh, central Alaska. Saturday is going to be by far the driest day across much of mainland Alaska with a ridge of high pressure settling into the area. We do have a 986 millibar low, uh, much more potent than other ones that we are experiencing um, previously, as well as a front across the region. So that's going to be causing some gusty winds, uh, moderate rains across portions of Kodiak Island on your Saturday, as well as across Alaska Peninsula and uh, eastern Aleutian Islands. Let's look at your low temperatures. Again, for Friday, we're expecting uh, across the panhandle temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Um, similar temperatures across much of the region, although uh, 43 near Gulkana. As we go into your Friday afternoon, we're going to be warming to about 62 in Anchorage. We're also going to be hitting uh, 66 near Gulkana. And the panhandle temperatures will be a little cooler in the upper 50s as that trough kind of sits in that region. As we go into your Saturday morning, again, temperatures in the, I guess, uh, 50s to, to lower to mid 40s across the uh, Kenai Peninsula. And also as we go into the panhandle, um, upper 40s to, to 50. For your Saturday afternoon, we are warming to 70 in the Gulkana, uh, 65 in the Anchorage area. Uh, so again, uh, with that drier weather, a little warmer temperatures in the region. Meanwhile, uh, with that uh, moisture hanging around the panhandle, temperatures will stay more in the upper 50s uh, to, to near 60. For your Friday morning along the Arctic coast, uh, we're going to be looking at temperatures in the mid-30s with some of that stratus and fog. In the Seward Peninsula, again, we're going to be looking at upper 30s. And uh, in the interior areas, um, up to 55 Friday afternoon, we're warming up to the, the mid-70s um, and close to 70 near Fairbanks. So again, a warm day in the interior. Um, we also are going to be warming um, into the upper uh, 50s along, or long, uh, even close to the Arctic coast. So, but uh, in those areas just along the coast, we're going to be seeing temperatures more um, of that in marine environment, uh, about 50. For your Saturday morning, again, we're going to be looking at temperatures in the mid-30s along the Arctic coast, uh, upper 30s to mid-40s in the Seward Peninsula, and in the interior, uh, lower or upper 40s to mid-50s. Saturday afternoon, again, widespread dry conditions. So you can see those 70s spread across much of the state, even a, a 60s into the Seward Peninsula. So nice, uh, warmer, drier weather for your Saturday afternoon across much of the interior with temperatures again in the upper 40s to lower 50s across the Arctic coast. Looking at your Friday morning, again, we're having those lows in the area. So we're looking at along Alaska Peninsula temperatures in the mid 40s. Um, by your Friday afternoon, we're warming up to 65 in Bethel. So uh, a nice Friday afternoon despite some of the wetter conditions. Um, for a Saturday morning, temperatures are going to be in the mid-40s across much of Alaska Peninsula and across much of Bristol Bay area and into the eastern Aleutians. By Saturday afternoon, again, drier conditions um, by that point. So we're looking almost up to the 70 for the Bethel area. Um, and uh, even in Bristol Bay areas, we're looking at uh, you know, mid-60s. So some nice weather for you on Saturday. Let's take a look at your... Uh, CPC outlook, again, uh, this is for July 5th through 9th. Again, we're seeing cold temperatures staying entrenched across much of the central part of the state. Uh, the only part of the state really looking at a potential to have slightly above normal temperatures is, uh, again, near Ukiavik and the Arctic Village. But for the, the majority of Alaska, we are going to be looking at cooler temperatures remaining in trench. We're also looking at possibility in the panhandle, we might get slightly above average as well in July 5th through the July 9th. Uh, as we look at precipitation, actually drier than average across the panhandle areas. And uh, about most of the rest of the state, we are looking at uh, average to above average rainfall.